Morning folks, David here again. Going to be doing another shave video for you guys. Um, the items I'll be using today are Old Spice Tube Cream. Paired it with the Old Spice Aftershave. As well as the um, PAA Cold Spices. I got a sample of it. I'm going to use this in addition. For pre-shave, I'm going to be using ProRasso Green along with a cold towel. For the razor, a PA Symmetry Open Comb with a third use Wilkinson Sword. Brush is going to be the Green Ray. Also, we'll be using my crystal alum stick and depending on if i feel i need it or not i'll feel my face after the shave i might use some of this neutrogena face lotion as well uh, for my bowl today i'm going to be using the paa travel scuttle you can see it's all iced over i filled it up with water and froze it overnight to have an ice lather i've also got another um, ice water bath <clears throat> in my sink so cold water shave again i really personally enjoy cold water shaving i feel i get better results from it than when i used um, hot or warm water so i prefer cold water shaving and the ice lather from the pa travel scuttle just really complements that so without any more talking let's get into it but the face Hope everyone's doing well. This is uh, doing the shave on Sunday morning, so I hope everyone's had a good weekend so far. I worked yesterday. Uh, I am a mailman, so for the U.S. Postal Service, so I work most Saturdays, so I don't get the traditional weekend that most people get but I do always have Sundays off and I like to wake up sleeping a little bit on being my day off but I, I do still like to wake up at a fairly normal time usually 30 minutes to an hour or so after what I would normally get up for work wake up and have a have a good shave on Sunday mornings before I gotta my wife works on the weekends she's a hairstylist so <clears throat> Sundays are almost always me on dad duty with the kiddos so Getting up a little before everyone else and having a shave is a way for me to just get some me time before I got to deal with the kids all day. All right. <clears throat> Old Spice Tube Cream. I really like this stuff. It smells great, especially in lather form. And then I just take about that, about a you know an almond size amount on my finger. And then when I'm using the PA travel scuttle, I just kind of just kind of smear it around in the bowl like that, like so. Take my green ray brush, swirl it around in the water here, give it a squeeze, and then I'll take the cream, and I do this with all tube creams, I'll kind of take the, what's left on my finger and kind of, kind of run it into the brush so that it, you know, it gets those and gets the cream into the brush 
All right, get the lather going here. I have really been enjoying <coughs> using tube creams lately. They're just, they're so easy and quick to lather. You know, they're, you don't have that brush loading time like you would with a tub soap. You see it's already coming along here. And I've only been swirling for maybe 20, 30 seconds. Oh, this stuff smells so good in lather form, guys. Uh, if you if you like Old Spice aftershave, you really need to give this stuff a try. If you haven't. Uh, it smells exactly like that in the tube cream, only it's a little bit fresher almost. It, uh, I'm not sure if that would be the right way to describe it, but it, it, and it just smells so good. I love it. <clears throat> I really like this PAA Travel Scuttle for for building an ice lather. It just makes it so easy. <clears throat> you don't have to worry about, you know, cycling cold water through it like you would with a ceramic scuttle. Just fill it up about three quarters of the way. I don't like to fill it all the way up because while it is um, polypropylene and it does flex a bit, I, I don't, I'm concerned that filling it up too much would cause it to you know, deform over time. So I usually fill it up about three quarters of the way and then I'll just stick it in the freezer overnight and it works fantastic. Gives me per, you know, nice ice cold lather for the entire shave. All right, I think we are good. Let's go ahead and get some of that on the brush and get to lathering. I just mentioned a few minutes ago that I'm a mailman and it has been a long couple weeks at work. Been working quite a bit of overtime. Worked an extra worked an extra <clears throat> day because of the holiday to that would have normally been my day off to help out with the extra mail volume we always get before before a holiday so been a long couple weeks I'm tired I almost didn't do this shave today to be to be perfectly honest with you guys I I almost said screw it and, and turn shut the alarm off and went back to bed but I always feel better after a shave, as I'm sure most of you guys do. So I'm glad I got up and got it done. All right. Symmetry Open Comb, third use Wilkinson Sword. Let's get it going. Oh, got myself all ready. I have a bump there. I don't know if it's a bug bite, ingrown hair, or what it is, but already got myself on it. I think that's what I got myself last time on my video a couple days ago. I think I got myself there, but so it's been, yeah, it, that usually happens when you have a bump like that, though. Do your best not to catch it, but it usually happens. This 
So this Wilkinson sword is not near as smooth as it was for the last shave when it was on its second use, which I kind of expected most blades that I've tried. The third shave is still, you know, it still provides a good shave, but for the most part, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't perform as well on that third shave for me mo most blades don't the second shave is usually the best shave for me on all the different on all the blades I've tried My blade out of all right? No, everything looks fine on the blade, huh? The one side wasn't cutting as well for some reason. All right, pass one done. I really, really like this Symmetry Open Comb razor. Uh, it's been pretty much been my only razor I've been using for the past. Since I got it, really, I've used... I've got a Vanderhagen razor that I've used once or twice since then. But I've really just been using the Symmetry Open Comb. It's just an awesome razor. It's incredibly efficient, at least in comparison to the ra other razors I've used. I can always get, minus any nicks I might wind up getting, I can always get BBS. Mm, there's that cold lather. It wasn't quite as cold at first because the water hadn't, the ice and the scuttle hadn't fully reacted with it yet. There you go, though. But it wasn't, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, oh, yeah. Minus any, uh, Nicks I might get occasionally from it. I can always get to BBS with this razor with just three passes. Whereas with other razors, pretty much every other razor I've ever used, I have to do three passes and then a touch up pass in some areas. And even then, depending on how mild the razor is, it doesn't always get me to BBS. Whereas I always get to BBS with three passes and no touch-ups with this razor. So this razor is incredibly efficient. But still very smooth and comfortable to use. So this is, I don't, I don't know that I'll ever get another razor, to be honest, with you as far as needing another razor. There's other razors I'd like to try, but as far as actually needing another razor, because this one doesn't do what I want it to do, this razor performs great. I would still like to get a Mula R41 and try out the infamous R41 and Feather Blade combo, but <clears throat> just to see if 
if it can get me to BBS and maybe two passes instead of three. But if I had to have just one razor for the rest of my life based on the razors that I've tried, I would be 100% happy with the Symmetry Open Comb. Yeah, I think this Wilkinson sword is going to be done after this use. Still cutting nice and clean. It's not dragging at all, but it's just not, not anywhere near as smooth as it was the last couple shaves. So I think three shaves is is the sword's limit for me. I'm telling you guys, try, if you are into tube creams at all, you need to do yourself a favor and get some Old Spice tube cream. <clears throat> Got it in a two pack on Amazon for like six bucks, I think it was. But just really, really good cream. And it, you know, it smells amazing, performs wonderful. You know, it's got a nice, very, very slick. Squeeze the brush out here to get that good stuff. Spread that all around. Something I always find interesting on shaving videos is seeing everybody's techniques for their passes. You know, seeing, <clears throat> seeing in which directions they take the razor. You know, seeing, you know, what little, where they, how they, if they blade buff in certain areas, but not in others, how their techniques differ from mine to see if maybe something that I'm, maybe if there's something that I'm doing that hasn't been working so well for me. If maybe, if maybe watching someone's other techniques and learning from them can help me. So if you are a, you know, someone that's newer to wet shaving, <clears throat> just absorb all the information out there on the internet about, about the technique and watch all the you know as many YouTube videos as you can of people actually shaving you know <clears throat> having all the gear is cool but it doesn't make a it's not going to give you a good shave if your technique is terrible Almost done. Just 
something I f All right guys, sorry uh, about the video cut off there. Uh, my wife woke up and had to use the bathroom restroom. Uh, the toilet for our shared bathroom is actually in my side. So she had to use the restroom real quick and you can probably hear the shower now. She's starting to get ready for work. So apparently I didn't wake up quite early enough, but oh well. Let's get the rest of this done, uh, give myself a rinse, check to uh, make sure I don't need to do any touch-ups. Again, I probably shouldn't. I never need any touch-ups with, with, with the Symmetry Open Comb, but... Always gonna check anyway. There's been times with it that I thought I was 100% good and and then when I got to work I realized I missed, you know, something. My hair goes way up here like above my cheekbones a little bit. So there's times I've gotten to work and oh, I've got, you know, a few days whisker growth in that spot. So... Even if you're using a razor <clears throat> that that you know will give you BBS without a touch up pass, it's always good to it's always good to uh, check everything feels good. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Let's. Uh, Drain the sink, get the alum stick going here. Okay, hold that there for a couple seconds. Yeah, I got that nice little sting going. <laughs> Slight feedback on the alum stick, not too bad though. I only got myself on that bump on my neck though, so as far as nicks are concerned, <clears throat> not sure what was going on last shave. Maybe I was just, maybe I had first shave video jitters and I was, you know, rushing or using too much pressure or something, but uh. All right, alum applied. Let's get the brush rinsed out. This green ray brush, while it's, it doesn't perform, doesn't make quite as much lather per the same amount of soap or cream as the Atomic Rocket does. This green ray brush from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is still a really awesome brush. <clears throat> and as you saw, it created the right type of lather it created a good lather, just not quite as much as the Atomic Rocket would have made. So, if you're in the market for a brush, I heartily recommend the any uh, <clears throat> offerings from PAA. I have not used their Solar Flare or their Starcraft, but they are on the list <clears throat> of ones to try. So, once I, <clears throat> once I get some more money, I'm going to be giving them, going to be buying them as well, and then the whole Phoenix Artisan Brush family will be complete.
And I actually got the green ray brush in a starter, a PA starter kit with the Symmetry Open Comb Razor. Normally the kit comes with the green ray brush and a CK6 formula soap and matching aftershave, a five pack of both Shark and Voskhod blades. And then their symmetry razor. Now, normally it comes with a straight bar, but I'm not, now I'm not saying that they'll definitely do this for you, but they did it for me, Douglas, and Fran over there at PAA. Graciously offered upon my request to swap out the razors for the open combs because I wanted to try an open comb. So. I can't say enough good things about PAA. They're just a fantastic company. Really solid products at good prices. Again, their brushes are 15 bucks. This razor by itself is 30, which is not a bad deal at all for <clears throat> a good quality razor like this. So, I mean, <clears throat> sorry, cats <laughs> down there trying to get at the door. But yeah, I, I can't say enough good things about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. They just top level service, great products, great prices for what you're getting. So, <clears throat> all right, let's get to the aftershaves here. Cold Spice Sample. Oh, I tell you what, one thing Douglas definitely nailed on this sample is the alcohol burn <laughs> in comparison to the original real Old Spice. All right, I'm going to give some of this a go as well. <clears throat> Oh. Oh. There we go. I love Old Spice Aftershave. Wife hates it, but I love it. <clears throat> Something to note real quick on the... The Cold Spices from PAA. Um... Don't I don't know that I'm gonna ever buy a full bottle of it. Not that it's a bad product that it doesn't perform well. It really does. Like like I've already mentioned that all PAA products do. My issue is he added menthol to the formula, and while I do like menthol stuff, it um <clears throat> I think he maybe went a little overboard with it. The because the menthol scent really overpowers the rest of the fragrance fragrances and it doesn't smell like old spice to me doesn't even you get a little hint of old spice smell but to me it's mostly menthol <clears throat> and if i want old spice i want old spice so after i use that sample up i'll pro i don't think i'm ever going to buy a full bottle of it i think it's just going to be i think i'll just continue to use the the traditional real old spice as my aftershave pairing with <clears throat> with the old spice tube cream but it's not to say that you won't like it you know give it if you're in old spice give it a try and maybe to your nose it will be better all right I got a, just an old Astra SP box that I just toss used blades in and then once that box gets full I'll chuck it in the trash can. <clears throat> I've got little, I've got two young kids. I've got a five-year-old and a two-year-old so I can't really be leaving a blade bank, you know, even though they look nice and everything. I can't really be leaving a blade bank laying around for them to get into so <clears throat> can't see it anyway so 
an old blade box in the medicine cabinet works just fine. Okay, face feels nice. I don't, you know, fairly, yeah, face feels fine. I, don't, I won't need to use the uh, lotion at all. All right, guys, sorry with the video split and sorry if I rambled a bit too much this time around. I was, since I wasn't doing a, a shave tip video, I was trying to keep you guys engaged more. All right, have a good day, have a good Sunday, rest of your weekend for those of you that got one, and happy shaving.